My name is Sherrick. I'm the inventor of the Resimax therapy process and the Resimax tuner. Today I'm going to teach you how to balance the brain in three minutes. The question is, how do you live your life? Are you always being chased by the wild animals? Or are you calm and digesting your food and getting ready for the next day? When we get into a discussion of the human nervous system, we have to talk about the chemicals that run through the system. Oftentimes, people take medications for a variety of things, pain relief, lower the blood pressure, improve the blood pressure. What we're going to talk about today are synthetic neuromodulators, things that you take into your body that have an effect on your brain. There are well over a hundred neurotransmitters that affect your nervous system. All of these chemicals are controlled from a large part by one major nerve. It's called the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve can help you heal and restore and sleep better. I'm going to focus today just on a few of these neurotransmitters. These top ones, these are the chemicals of healing and help, healthiness and helping you to feel good, helping you to recover from life. The chemicals at the bottom, you might call those a big part of the stress response that we go through. When you look at adrenaline and cortisol, these chemicals go hand in hand. When your adrenaline spikes, your cortisol also spikes. Cortisol's job is to take the brain and make it shut down its executive functions. When you're in the fight or flight pattern, you don't want to be thinking about what you're going to be doing for the next 24 hours. You've got to either fight or run away from whatever it is that, uh, that is bothering you. One of the great chemicals in the nervous system is serotonin. It helps you to feel better. It helps you to, to connect with, with those that you love. It helps you to uh, be able to digest and rest. It's an, a great chemical that helps you avoid depression. Well, serotonin can be, can be depressed or kept from functioning very well when you're under a high amount of stress. If you think of it, cortisol and adrenaline will keep your serotonin levels from functioning in the way that you would like to help you feel happy. When you look at various health conditions that, uh, that bother the human body, you will find that there are certain types that affect one gender more than another. Chronic pain is one of these conditions. We find that migraine headache sufferers, 70 to 71 percent female compared to just 30 percent males. But what if you look at a couple of other conditions? Fibromyalgia, 94 percent female. When you look at TMJ or painful conditions of the jaw joints, you're looking at 92 to 96 percent female. If you look at irritable bowel issues, you're talking about 71 percent females. If you're looking at carpal tunnel or thoracic outlet issues, again, that's about 71 percent females. Why are these conditions a little bit more prevalent for the females in our society? The answer to that has to do with this amazing brain that we have. You see, females have nine and a half times more white matter in their brain. That's the connective speed. That's what allows them to process and think of so many things all at once. While males have six and a half times more gray matter in their brain, that allows them to think and slow process and to be able to focus on things for an extensive amount of time. Like fishing. You can spend hours fishing and not really think of too many things at once. If you look at how the brain functions and the nervous system functions, you have to come to an understanding of the trigeminal nerve. The trigeminal nerve, the fifth cranial nerve, comes out and kind of goes like a squid around the sides of the face. And this nerve is responsible for clenching and chewing and biting and, and so many things that happen around the face are controlled by that trigeminal nerve. That's the one that the dentist works on to uh, usually numbs up so that he can work on your mouth and teeth. 
Well, here's something you may not have understood about that trigeminal nerve that is so important. You see, while it closes the mouth, and while it moves the mouth forward, and while it opens the mouth, and, and does everything with those facial muscles, it also helps us to trigger the fight or flight pattern in the human nervous system. Have you ever seen the face of the trigeminal nerve when it is irritated? This is what it looks like. It's fascinating to me that if you clamp down your jaw, you will feel the muscles at the back of your neck clamp down too. They work synergistically, they work together. Well, one of the interesting things that we see with a person in a lot of stress is their jaw will start hurting from clamping down so much, from grinding their teeth at night, and the back of their neck will hurt in those pressure points. The connection is this. There is a myodural bridge. This myodural bridge, myo meaning muscle, dura meaning the covering over the brain, this myodural bridge only happens at one place in the human body that we've been able to find. It is at the rectus captus posterior minor and major. Those muscles at the back of your neck have a connection, a very close connection with the human brain. How do you like that? Maybe it's the gauge that helps us tell how much pressure your nervous system is under when we touch those points on the back of your neck. If you were to ask your doctor, what is the most important nerve to help me to heal? Your doctor would tell you, that is the vagus nerve. It's also a cranial nerve. It's the 10th cranial nerve. And its job is to heal and restore. It goes to every major organ in your body and sends messages back to the brain and, and interacts with your heart and your, your stomach and gets everything to its happy, healthy, healing state. That's the vagus nerve. It will prevent inflammation. Well, here's something that you may not have understood about the vagus nerve. It also controls your communication. One of the most amazing things about the vagus nerve is this. It controls your vocal cords. That's right. The recurrent laryngeal branch of the vagus nerve is responsible for your communication. If you take all of this information in this presentation and realize that somehow you've got to calm down the trigeminal nerve, you've got to improve the function of the vagus nerve, and you've got to get the brain and the nervous system into its happy and healing state, one of the most amazing ways that you can do that is with this little tool that we invented, the Resimax Tuner. My team developed the Resimax Tuner to be able to calm down the trigeminal nerve and enhance the function of the vagus nerve. If we can do that through its nine levels of resonance, if we can do that with this very powerful take it anywhere with you system, you can help heal the nervous system in just a few minutes a day on these key pressure points throughout your head and neck. We developed the Resimax Tuner to be able to help enhance the function of the vagus nerve and calm down the fight or flight response in the trigeminal nerve. What comes along with that is pain relief, calmness, improving your ability to sleep and to heal from all kinds of stressful things in your life and it works. If you can master these key concepts with the tuner, you will find that you can use it for almost any painful condition. But I like to teach people, start around your head, where those very important nerves can take the message in to help balance your brain. If you can learn to calm down the trigeminal nerve and improve the function of the vagus nerve, you can control a myriad of conditions in your nervous system. You can change pain from your toes all the way up to your head. You can change many chronic conditions and help a person to heal. Heal from the brain, heal the rest of the body. Thank you for watching this. This means you have a desire to understand how to improve the function of your nervous system. 
You can learn more about us on our website at Resumax.com or connect with us on Facebook at Resumax.